Alright folks, welcome back to part two of Jex's Q&A. Um, we'll just keep on going right along. So we've got a lot of questions to go through, so here we go. The next few questions are by Two Can Play at That. Uh, they have four questions, so um, let's get started. First question, what movies would you like to find to add to your VHS collection? Well, I would have to answer that question with another question. Where should I start? Because <laughs> there are so many I'd love to find. Uh, so here we go, just to name a few. Um, Terror Vision, The Video Dead, Trick or Treat, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Big Box, uh, Miss 45, Big Box, Blood Beach, Ghost Town, Ghost Riders, The Town That Dreaded Sundown, uh, preferably the Warner Clamshell, uh, Highway to Hell, Waxwork, uh, The Barbarians, uh, those are just a few that I could think of, but yeah, those are some VHS's that I'd love to find. I'm always looking for new VHS's for my collection. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just curious sometimes to see where my collection is going to be like five years from now. Because it keeps growing and growing at the blink of an eye, so... Yeah, those are, but those are definitely some VHS's I would love to find. Uh, question number two. Uh, what original film prop would you like to own? Uh, well, it would be pretty unrealistic for me to say the, uh, time-traveling DeLorean, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to say, uh, Proton Pack from Ghostbusters. That would be a pretty cool thing to, um, to show off to friends and whatnot, and, uh, I've been a fan of Ghostbusters for as long as I can remember, so, yeah, that would be a problem that I'd like to have, Proton Pack. Uh, next question, question number three, uh, what are your top five favorite movie posters? Now that question I was stuck on. <laughs> that was a that was tough. Uh, took a lot of thinking because you know I love so many movie posters. So to pick just five is like whoa. But uh, I've narrowed it down to five. And here we go. I'm gonna have to say uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, just because I love how it's spoofing Breakfast Club and the, you know it's just cool to see those horror characters do the pose of the Breakfast Club and whatnot, so I like that one. Uh, Evil Dead, uh, Army of Darkness, I, I just love that artwork. I love anything that's drawn or hand-painted in a, in a movie poster, so that one's awesome. Um, Fright Night, and also last but not least, The Party Animal, which I actually have that one sheet. Um, I've had it for about five years, but it's... Uh, I'm keeping it folded to like find a frame big enough for it, but yeah, party animal. Love that artwork. So yeah, those would be top five. My top five favorite movie posters that I could think of. That was tough, but um, I just love so many movie posters out there. Anything retro, like I said, hand drawn or painted. I love posters like that, especially old uh, horror posters. They were usually all drawn, and the artwork is just so awesome. Uh, and the last question by two completed that is if you owned a video store what would you call it I love this question because I've actually given that some thought in my past uh, I've often thought of having like an old style video store you know with like VHS's and whatnot and giving an old old feel and I would call it uh, well I had two titles two name possibilities either old school video or retro video I, I haven't really decided but something along those lines and I've even decided the uh, the catchphrase for it. It would be the best of the best on VHS, nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I've often dreamed of having my own video store. So uh, that was a cool question. Thank you to Two Can Play at that. Um, moving right along with Will1982 says, Hey, Jex buddy, I have a few questions. Uh, so he has three questions. Here we go. What was the first DVD you have ever bought? Okay. Let's go back in time a little bit to 2002, my birthday, I got my first uh, DVD player. Uh, it was a General Electric um, DVD player my parents got me, thanks mom and dad, <laughs> nine years later. But uh, no, um, yeah, and I got a few DVDs as gifts with it. I got uh, Ghostbusters box set, with, like the original, but not the, not the green one you see in stores now, the original box set, which is... Um, out of print now, I believe, and I also got not not another teen movie on DVD, which is it was popular at the time. It's kind of uh, aged now, but uh, yeah, I got those movies. But the first DVD I ever bought uh, would probably be uh, 
it was planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, a few days after I got the DVD player, I went out, and that was the first one I actually bought. Uh, it, I think it was like 21 or 24 dollars. Expensive compared to today's standards. You could get like that same movie for about five bucks, but that was the normal price back then. Twenty some bucks for DVD. You know, they were still new. It's just like Blu-rays now. You know, in a few, in a couple of years, they're probably gonna be cheap. They're actually they're starting to get cheap already. So yeah, that was the first DVD I ever got. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, question number two. What is one of your most earliest memory of renting a VHS tape in the early days of the Ma and Pa VHS video days? Okay, um, when I was, when I was a little boy, <laughs> uh, my parents would bring uh, myself and my sisters to, um, to a video store called Variety Video, which is actually still there, but it's, it's totally different ownership. It's called Cine Video now, which uh, actually, uh, Alex and I did a video there over the summer, but uh, it was totally different back then. Variety video, and anyway, there was uh, in the corner, in the back corner, uh, there was uh, it was the kids section. So I'd, well, I I would always go straight there, and um, if I remember correctly, they had like Disney characters painted on the walls. I don't know. I have a I have a vague memory of like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs on the wall. I may be wrong, but we're going over two decades back. But, <laughs> but, uh, no, this is, uh, yeah, I remember just that corner of the kids' section, and I would usually rent, like, um, they had some, uh, Ghostbusters VHSs, like the real Ghostbusters, the cartoons, uh, Tiny Toons, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I'd rent all those cool cartoons. I remember renting Peter Pan, the Disney cartoon, with my dad once. Uh, so I can't really remember what the first VHS I ever rented was, but I remember always going to that kids' corner and renting the those types of cartoons, so those would be my earliest video store memories. I also remember at that specific video store seeing for the first time the cover box, the Jaws, and it gave shivers down my spine, man. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I was just like, whoa, that's freaky, man. So, yeah, good times, good times. I love the memory of when you're a kid seeing all those scary movies in the video stores. It's cool. <laughs> Uh, third question by Will1982. What are your favorite sports teams uh, if you're into sports? Uh, I'm actually not really into sports. I've always been more of a movie guy. Um, but if there's a sport that I like to watch, it would be hockey. I like the occasional hockey game, but I don't watch it enough to have a favorite team or anything like that. Um, I'll usually, if I'm watching with someone, I'll root for whoever they're rooting for, you know. But uh, I also like to watch the countries compete, like over the holidays I watched Canada versus Russia and that was a great game, I think Canada won 6-3 uh, to three or something like that, so yeah, I like I like it watching hockey like that, it's pretty cool, but other than that I'm really not a big sports fan, so uh, yeah, that concludes Will1982's questions, thanks man, awesome questions, uh, next up my boy JT of the Dead, uh, he says, hey Jax Meister, here's my questions, how old are you? Well, I am 17 years young. Do you believe it? Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> no, I'm 25, actually. I was born on October 11th, uh, 1985, exactly 15 days before Marty McFly went back in time. Yeah, so, now <laughs> you probably didn't buy that I'm 17. But if you did, thank you. <laughs> anyway, uh, what is your favorite horror movie? Um, favorite horror movie, I would have... Uh, I like a lot of horrors, but probably Evil Dead. I don't know, just... I've always, I, ever since the first time I watched it, I've loved it, and I just respect that it was made for such a low budget. And it, was made, it, was, it was made as a college movie, and just Sam Raimi did the best that he could with such a low budget, and it just looks great, and no, love Evil Dead. That would be my favorite horror movie. Uh, what is your favorite Quentin Tarantino film? Um, Pulp Fiction. Hands down, I love Pulp Fiction. But Reservoir Dogs is a close second. I love them both. So it's almost a tie, but I don't know. I just love Pulp Fiction. It's a long movie, but I just love how everything comes together in the end. And it's... It's great filmmaking. Definitely, definitely love Pulp Fiction. And what is your favorite Vestron release? Um, well... I don't have this Vestron release, but I have the DVD by Anchor Bay, and that would be Reanimator, because uh, I know that the original VHS was released by Vestron, but like I said, I don't have it, but 
it's a, it would be it would uh, qualify as a best strong release. So yeah, I would have to see Reanimator, great movie, um, great horror flick, uh, gore fest. So yeah, that would be my favorite best strong release for sure. So uh, thank you, JP of the Dead or Josh Meister, as I like to call. Uh, next up, CJ Molina Tube says, uh, "Hey Jex, have you ever thought of or are you planning on making your own movie?" Uh, well, actually, uh, that's a cool question, because I'm actually, I love making movies, um, directing, editing, this, uh, stuff that interests me, um, it's actually, that's what I'd like to do as a career, uh, I haven't been back to school or anything, but, cause, eh, <laughs> I can't even talk, no, I just, it, I know it's such a hard field to break into, and it's a hard career to actually you know, start in, so I'm really, that's why I'm taking so long to actually get to it, but if there's, if there's one thing that I would love to do, it's making movies, uh, I just love it, I love every, every aspect of it, so yes, I would definitely like to, to make my own movie for sure. Um, next question by CJ Molina Tube, growing up in Canada, was Degrassi Junior High popular with uh, people our age? Um... I don't know about people our, our age. I mean, I, I've always liked it. Uh, I have two older sisters. And one of them, one of them was in her early teens. The other one in her preteens when Degrassi was was on TV. Yeah, I was just a little kid, but they were watching it, and I watch it with them, and we we all loved it. Uh, I actually have all the uh, Degrassi Junior High box sets and Degrassi High. Never got into um, the Next Generation, but I, I love the old school Degrassi. Um, as far as people our age, we had to watch it in school. Uh, in grade nine, and everyone was always like, uh, "Ah, man, you know, uh, not the grassy." You know, most people they said they didn't like it, but I think like 75% of those people actually deep down the side did like it because they, they just didn't want to be the oh, you know, they didn't want to be the uncool kid that didn't like the grassy. But uh, I know a lot of people liked it. I've always liked it. Like I said, watching with my sisters. So uh, yeah, it was kind of a hit or miss, I guess. It's, it was hard to tell because a lot of people did, wouldn't admit to it, but I know a lot of people like Degrassi. Um, is there a movie that you could say changed your life? That was, that was a tough question. I can't really think of any movie that really changed my life, but if I have to pick one, I would probably, I would probably have to say Forrest Gump. You know, it did... It, it's just such an awesome movie. It didn't really change my life, per se, but I saw it when it was first released on video. I was about nine years old, and it just impacted me. Like, I was just so blown away, and it's the first movie that I that I can remember, anyway, but it was the first movie that ever made me cry. You know, um, spoiler alert for those of you who haven't seen the movie, although you should. Everyone should see Forrest Gump. But anyway, spoiler alert, Jenny dies at the end. And me, little nine-year-old Jax, I was just... Uh, the tears were coming out, man. I was just, I thought that was so sad. It was just such a, I'm getting misty just thinking about it. No, <laughs> no but it was just, I thought that was, that was great. And uh, everything about that movie, you know, I was, again, I was nine years old, so seeing a lot of things, like, you know, they're talking about war, and, you know, there's like a few sexual references, and to me, it was, just, it was all new to me, you know, it was like, well, I don't think I'm supposed to understand this, you know, so it didn't really change my life, but it was definitely eye opening to me. So, yeah, so I, I would have to say Forrest Gump. Um, what is the last movie you saw that scared you? Uh, actually, about a week ago, my girlfriend and I, we watched Paranormal Activity 1 and 2. I had never seen the first one. The second one just came out, so we rented them, watched them back to back. And I gotta say, Paranormal Activity 2, man, is pretty freaky. It's, uh, it's scary in the sense that, uh, I was on edge. You know, like, uh, because I don't really, like, get scared, like, oh my god, during movies, but I mean... I was like, whoa, okay, something's gonna happen, it's too quiet, you know, I, you know when you're anticipating? It's the anticipation that makes it scary, I think. So, that would probably be the, the last movie I saw that scared me. I loved it, I loved Paranormal Activity 2. Paranormal Activity 2, I liked it more than the first one a little bit, but they were both good. I liked them. Uh, we also watched, I'll mention, um, we watched Last Exorcism uh, in the past week as well, and that one, that one was pretty freaky. I think I preferred Paranormal Activity, though. But Last Exorcism was kind of the same thing, like, what's going to happen, man, this is weird. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty freaky. Uh, so, yeah, those are the questions by CJ Molina Tube. Thanks, man. 
Uh, next up, Film Collector. He asks, uh, what's your favorite movie? Um, again, I, 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 I answered that one earlier. It's uh, The Evil Dead. Love me The Evil Dead. Um, what's your favorite movie character? Man, that one, requ that one required some thinking as well. Um, I would probably have to say, I know this, it's, it's a cheesy movie, but I like Styles from Teen Wolf. I always loved Styles. It kind of, in a way, reminds me of myself when I was in high school, just because the witty t-shirts, he always, he always has sayings on it. I, you know, I always had, like, different t-shirts with cool designs on them and whatnot when I was in high school, so... And he's just witty, and I, I just love his style. Hence his name, Styles. So, yeah, I don't know. I know it's cheesy, but what can I say? I think he's cool. Uh, what's your favorite director? Uh, like I mentioned earlier, probably had to say John Landis, just for, uh, the inside jokes he always puts in his movies, or references, or director cameos, uh, I, I like that a lot. I think, yeah, I love his style of, uh, filmmaking. And what's your favorite movie format? Uh, well, I really love VHS. I'm gonna have to say VHS, just for the whole collectability, or valuable a aspect of it all. I just love collecting VHS, but uh, of course I uh, I love the quality of DVD, Blu-ray. Those quality-wise, those are awesome. But uh, I just love I just have a fondness for VHS. I grew up with the format, and I think it's great. Uh, so yeah, those those are the four questions by Film Collector. Thank you. Next, uh, these these next three questions are by R.I.P. Myers. He asks me, what is your fave beer? Uh, I actually don't drink anymore. I stopped, uh, I haven't really keep track, but it's been about three years I stopped drinking. Uh, but I was, I was quite the drinker in the day, and back then, my beer of choice was Coors Light. Uh, I was a big fan of Coors Light. <laughs> uh, have you ever studied martial arts? And who is your fave UFC fighter? Um, when I was a kid, when I was about seven years old, I took, uh, I think it was Jukai Jitsu lessons or something, but you know that didn't last long. You know, you know how it is when your kid is. You know, all the other kids are doing it. That was pretty much why I took those lessons. So uh, yeah, that didn't really last long. And as far as my fave uh, UFC fighter, I I don't uh, like I mentioned earlier. I'm not a big not a big sports fan, so uh, I don't follow UFC. Uh, and his next question is, what's the shittiest horror film you have ever seen? Probably have to say Hard Rock Zombies. Um, I don't remember much of it. I saw it a few years ago, like three years ago or so, and uh, it, it was just pretty bad. <laughs> I just remember being cheesy to the max, and I love horror cheese. You know, everyone knows that about me, but that one was just too, too bad. <laughs> it was just that terrible. Hard Rock Zombies. Um, so yeah. Again, uh, I've been talking for quite a while here, so I'm going to stop here.